Hi everyone and welcome back to our seven part series of what's new in generative design with Solid Edge 2019. If you haven't checked our previous videos, we just went over the basics of generative design, the pin constraint, and the gravity load, and the maneuverability between um, the new generative design study buttons. For this particular video, we are finally going to be going into the manufacturing settings. Um, but before we could do that, quick overview if those of you who don't know uh, this is the hinge that we're going to be working on this is the design space the preserve regions are the same for all one through seven of these studies um, with the same offsets of 3.484 and um, the loads do change though and for this particular study the load is going to be a negative 0.5 in the negative um, negative five in the z direction um, and the constraints are going to be a fixed constraint with a offset of 3.484 and a pin constraint oh, let me get out of that and a pin constraint of point uh, 1.772 inches and as I said in our last video the offset values are essentially what generative design will keep so it's definitely it's like preserving that radius of um, material and so the manufacturing settings are right here in the gen by uh, the generate study and what we are going to go over today is material extrusion so material extrusion um, is easier to see when we'll show the end of the construction body but it's essentially if you were to push your part through a tube um, it would keep a same shape in this direction so you can choose between XYZ uh, here we have set, uh, Z and the direction so here we have it in the positive and in the negative and we're not doing any material spreading that's going to be in our next video um, but that one's a cool one as well so this study ran for a little bit longer I said in our previous videos that um, if you do have a lot more things going on in your studies you're gonna wanna probably run the um, gender design study for about um, well like longer than two minutes and the estimation time um, the more you add to your part the uh, less the estimation gets um, accurate it will go over um, but if you do a smaller quality then sometimes it will go under um, but for this one we have it for 15 minutes and 19 seconds and that is around 38 percent um, the high being three hours 40 minutes and 10 seconds um, so yeah we had it for about 50 and 19 well it doesn't really matter because I already generated the part but um, we have a mass reduction for about 50 percent and we'll talk about factor safety in the later videos so we'll go ahead and close it and we could toggle between the study is number five so if we talk between and show stresses we can see um, let me try to go to the top view is a pretty good view um, so as you can tell it is extruded in one specific way um, you can tell uh, by looking at these features obviously um, the preserve regions are kept preserved so that's good um, let's go back and um, but you can see that the part that is was the design space that wasn't preserved um, we were able to play around with so that's exactly what solid edge did it extruded it in the positive Z and negative Z direction so again, looking at it, you can see that um, it's all in, in one direction, uni-directional. Um, and um, you can see also that there are high stress values in red and uh, low stress values in the blue. So let's put on the load so we can have a better understanding of what's going on. Um, the force is, let's cancel that. Oh, actually, let's show it again. So the force is right here um, in red, negative 0.5 in the z direction. And we have a pin constraint, I mean, sorry, fixed constraint in blue and pin constraint in purple. So, you, yeah, you can see that there's definitely a gradient in stress when there is um, some material extrusion for this part. 
So it's just as simple as that for that manufacturing setting. For the next video, we'll be going over material, material spreading. So um, definitely check out our previous videos to go over um, generative study and um, stick around for the future videos as well. Thanks, you guys. Have a good day.